crippled, alone. I watched. I watched as he twitched. None of his legs were working. You know, a cockroach, they don't really bleed out. We got this jelly. We got this jelly material that just kind of, like, it's squished out. And as long as your jelly material doesn't get squished out by the top part, you know, where we got our little doodlies, and they go bananas, you know, we're fine. We can survive without legs. <clears throat> we can survive without a body. No, we, we don't need jack fucking shit. As I stood and watched, though, that dude's doodlies, after I crushed his spine, and his body was just spewing out that jelly, I was eating it, I was eating that jelly raw because I was so hungry and I didn't have any garbage. I hadn't been to Home Depot in a minute, I hadn't seen any styrofoam in days. The last time I saw a cardboard box, I had, I had... Five different little pricky things on my one leg that now has three. That's some real shit. And I stood there and I watched as his doodly things were going wild. And I, and I kept pondering to myself, do I help? Do I help? Do I help? Or does this make it taste better? Because after all, if I reach, if I shove my arm deep into the jelly into the scrambled up body that I've, I've trampled and I've stomped out, I fought and I destroyed. I think it kind of tastes better. I think it kind of tastes pretty good. I think it's pretty, it's pretty delightful the way it tastes. Anyways, that's how I felt. That's how I felt when I watched this whole hairy debacle <clears throat> take place spitting in some dude's lap like this guy I mean he looks just like me he's doing what I'm doing but I can fuck him up I can disrespect him and fuck him up in the worst way imaginable he's just gonna sit there with his doodly things and fucking take it so why the fuck would I affect any of that